So we're back with twin versus evil twin, feminine and the masculine that wears the mask, right? Or do we all wear masks? What do we do? Who knows? Who dares wins, right? The counterpart, the reaction, the response time of your twin flame or your soulmate experience, <laughs> right? So let's have a go. So this is obviously a mirroring spread. So we're going to do feminine and masculine. Okay. So as an announcement, I have also got to make... Uh, for the people that are over on Patreon, what I am going to do, I'm going to do earth signs, air signs, water signs, and fire signs. I'm going to do them all in one. Okay, so if you're over on Patreon, okay, you can look for earth signs, okay, and then I'm going to do your weeklies over there. But I will do that at some point, okay. So if you are over on Patreon, that is going to be coming up. Um, but at the moment, we're looking for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August, and show me the feminine, the feminine for soulmate relationship the feminine show me the feminine for aries show me the feminine for aries so obviously this is trying to understand well why the hell is this happening <laughs> that i really need to move away from them so it still can be cross matched okay so i'm gonna go with feminine masculine but it still can be so you're gonna have to pick and choose which one's which who's the evil twin so obviously trying to find Something is kind of like, well, bruv, if you're not going to reach out, then I'm going to have to move. It might be moving. So this energy could be moving, could have children also. Um, like somebody could return from the past. It's obviously a six. Okay, so retrograde has brought in a lot of traumatic experiences that the energy now is finding its way to a more settled and balanced energy. So show me the masculine, please show me the masculine. So... You've got the three, so you have also got Virgo, Virgo. So I don't know if you have this in your chart or they do, but general energy is seeking. They're trying to look for something. They're waiting. This person here is definitely waiting. They're waiting. There could be some mild depression that's going on with your masculine, or this is you, okay, the feminine or masculine. But this side could be going from some kind of mild depression, and they're actually waiting on a response from this energy. So I'm picking this up that this could be, uh, I'm picking up that this could be the masculine, the feminine, or, or this energy is definitely waiting on the energy to, to settle because this is like a settling energy and this is a settling energy where it's kind of like um, checkmate. <laughs> it's like I've put you in checkmate, bruv. I've put you in checkmate. You're waiting on me, well, I'm waiting on you. There's like a standoff of like, well, hold on a minute. I've got things to do with my family. We've got a clean house. We've got to move. There's things that I need to do at work first also, and I need to settle my affairs. There needs to, I need to settle my emotions because at the moment, my home life could be rocky and that I am needing to shake things up a little bit and move. Things might have gone on with the family in this side where there might have been children involved, where someone literally needs to move or there needs to be some kind of resolve to a family dynamic because things have could have... They could have been like a lot of conflict within the family here, is what I'm thinking. Some kind of ego battle of like halves because there might be children. I'm thinking that if you live with parents for some people, some people might live with, live with people or parents or something that you have children here. And there's some kind of struggle where this person is going through a family dynamic with some people. So that can be the outer exterior of environmental energy. So that can relate to family and stuff like that. And the person obviously would have children. And there's obviously something rocky that's not quite right in that situation to do with a family dynamic of five outside of that. Okay, Outside of this side, you've got... The two of pentacles where this person is standing at a crossroads but they're actually made a decision to actually wait now so the decision was well will i or will i shall i shall i not so they've gone into seclusion actually thinking well you could well be worth <laughs> you could well be worth waiting for aries you could be worth waiting for but there could be some kind of mild depression of why they're waiting for this energy to come here i don't know why but i'm picking this up as actually being you aries here 
and that this person is going through some kind of mild depression because they're now waiting on you. I think the energy's probably changed where they're now waiting on you to resolve something because this is more of a resolving energy and this is more of a, a waiting like oh, just things are just not quite right with this energy of like a mild waiting depression energy because you're waiting they're waiting for some kind of response here definitely waiting for a response because of the aggression of the five where it arrives to the six it's now progressed itself to be more settled so things that might have been you're so over emotional baby <laughs> Every time I wait for you, <laughs> right? But someone's waiting. But because of things that might have been over emotional or an aggression or someone that could be over aggressive, the ego has now subsided more where it's like a relaxed energy. But I think it's a lot to do with the external environment of a karmic situation that somebody has here with a family. Okay? So tell me more about this side. Tell me more about that. So there you go, family and money. Probably some people, there's a there's an inheritance that someone's waiting on or they actually live with their parents or they live with their grandparents or something. But somewhere where this is a place of residing, so either they're waiting for some kind of job, a job opportunity, and they're moving, literally moving place to place to actually find a job, or there is some kind of involvement, like I said, within the family and the home life that involves children this involvement is involving children family family heritage religion anything like that it's to do with wherever it resides where wherever I, wherever i lay my head that's my home so wherever i lay is my home and at the moment i'm just standing <laughs> i'm just moving i'm just moving richard Pryor's moving again <laughs> I'm just moving but they give me the wrong finger fuck you Roy <laughs> sorry that was in moving right someone is definitely moving or or trying to build up so I think that there's a dynamic definitely going on with the family situation here where there's some kind of like nah well okay there's a resolving energy here so let's have a look at the hermit Tell me more about this side. Tell me more about this. Thank you. So, <laughs> while you continue to move and work, this person continues to do the same, continues to do the same. This person is also esoteric, is also esoteric. But if they're not esoteric, they're planning in this waiting period that they're actually going to communicate, but they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They're actually writing it. The writing is on the wall. So through this energy, this person is probably still picking up on the synchronicity part of uh, divine guidance. They're seeking wisdom, but they're probably still picking up on numbers and synchronicities and stuff like that. Um, but through reflection, they're probably a little bit depressed over that there might have been where they're having to work harder now. This is where we have to go to work and we have to build our strength up one bit by bit by bit, brick, brick by brick, block by block okay and i have to do that but i don't really like it because i'm also having to wait for you to come to me now <laughs> i'm having to wait for you to come to me but there's definitely an investment that we've got together some of you some of you if this just relates to love or whatever or anything else like that and you're watching it you might have an investment with this person like a literal investment in a in work or you might have met at work or you might meet at work there might be a meeting, <laughs> but um, because this is like working independently, but so for some of you, for some of you, you've got investments in something. Now, if you've got children together, if you have got children together, then that's the investment. 
that's the investment is the, the children and it's like this is the supportive energy and this is the energy that's having to work so like if you're the feminine mother if you're female this side this side is the male that's having to work to support you because this ten of pentacles doesn't mean complete fame fortune and riches it just means whatever it is that you work for is what you've got okay it is the, uh, the amount that you get paid the amount of action that you do the amount of things that you do the more energy and effort that you get in is what you get out what you put in is what you get out that's why it's a beginning and an ending okay so whatever that is is what you get paid if it isn't it's a lot to do with just the place of residency of where you are at but i still think that there's some kind of dynamic within the family that is settled down to now an ending where you now feel more relaxed if you've just moved this energy and you literally have just moved then this is you arriving at your place and that's you now settling down settling down there's a settling energy but there's an energy here now of this side that is having to work harder for the connection yeah this energy here is having to work a lot harder for for your energy here now i think the energy's changed i think it's shifted so tell me more about this ten of pentacles ten of pentacles why tell me more about this energy here because this person wants to be looked after no matter how much this ten of pentacles is this person still wants caring for okay and this would be the provider because it's the person that's working for this energy here. So this energy wants to provide for this energy. Because it's providing, you see, it's pentacles and it's money. It's providing. This is the worker and this would be the mother that stays at home to look after the house. Okay. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Or mother, father, but, you know. So this person has now come to a stop. So if you've just arrived at home or a new place, it's now come to like where you've just literally just landed and that's wherever I lay my hat. <laughs> wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. So we're not really going to go into star signs and things like that, but you've got a lot of earth energy here and also here really. But this is like, no, I'm not moving. <laughs> so this is like where there was a family dynamic okay things might have just relaxed and someone might say no i'm not moving <laughs> or they're like saying just no don't go that so there might have been an argument is what i'm picking up okay and then the person that you live with has said hold on a minute just before you go on your eye horse before you get on your eye horse <laughs> so um what's this relate to to me um I forget the name of the horse where they where there was a what do you call it? Um, wow, um, God, they were uh, it's Greek mythology where they put there was a trap, there was a plan, and they put themselves inside the horse. Um, oh wow, well, I can't think of the name of the horse. It's Greek mythology, it relates to war and stuff like that, and they won in the end. A Trojan, <laughs> a Trojan horse, a Trojan. Someone's got a Trojan. Meaning, like, they've got uh, an idea for a plan. A Trojan horse, you know, they won the war, <laughs> oh, the Trojans, because there was a Trojan horse. There was some sort of plan that somebody had. But this person's working, but this person's got a plan to make this, this thinking. This person here has a plan to make this energy work harder for the connection. Thank you. Because this energy is like a Trojan horse, is the one that knows what they're doing which is like uh uh i'm stopped now i've stopped now you work for me <laughs> laddie <laughs> right you work for the energy now for me you come to me they're in seclusion they're thinking definitely thinking about it 
and they are definitely planning on writing a message. They're definitely working on themselves, but they are definitely writing a message because the energy I'm feeling is now changed where it's like, ah, no, 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 no. Listen, I've got a plan. You come to me now. <laughs> you come to me because I've got the plan. You work for me. Here, Ten of Pentacles. So energy-wise, coming out of money, energy-wise, you now work for me because I've found my worth by staying in my own energy, regardless of the, the star sign. Story, please, story. So regardless of that, you now work for my energy because I've moved before and I've, I've made a move on you. I took a move on you before and you left me in this direction of shall I, shan't I. So now I've took back my own direction. You now work for me. So you now work for my connection. <clears throat> because I've got the plan. I've got the idea. I've got the house. I'm the mother. If you're the other connection that wants to work for this connection, then you've got to put the work in. You know? You see what I'm saying? Just tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Never ceases to, 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 to amaze me. The house, the home, the 1111, the soulmate, the twin flame, whatever people's journey we're on. <laughs> whatever journey you're on, you're fucking on one because you're on the spiritual journey of being awake. Good luck on waiting for your investment because it's a fucking headache, right? <laughs> being spiritual. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ain't it just... What on earth did we sign up for, right? Is what you're probably saying. What the fucking earth did I sign up for? Someone signed a lease. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Someone signed a lease and they said, what on earth did I sign up for, bruv? Well, I love it here. This is like my dream home because I've got it. I got it easy. Because <laughs> I'm easy like Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> right, is what I'm hearing. It. Um, not that you've got it easy, right? Whoever has, well, some some people might listen. They might, but meaning like, ah, uh, I got it easy now because easy now, easy now, bread in it, <laughs> easy now. Listen, easy, easy, bruv. You work for me now. So. What was there going on? There was there's an investment. I think I did, and then I've lost my flow. But I did hit something. I forget what it was. <laughs> Someone say, "Listen, I did fucking hit someone." <laughs> so somebody hit somebody, and there might be a claim, a claim and a blame, and someone hit someone. That's what I'm picking up. I'm sorry, that might have been the five of swords, and there's a claim. Listen, fucking, I hit someone. Literally hit someone. It might have even been in a car or anything. I hit somebody. <laughs> sorry. This is where I can't stop channeling, sorry. But I hit somebody. And now I'm putting a claim in. And I ain't fucking moving. Because you now work for me and you owe me. <laughs> right? Listen. And then battle of ego. No, calm the fuck down. Don't move. We've got somewhere steady. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I can't help but channel. It's like... <laughs> I can see it. Well, hear it, you know. <laughs> wow, that was an argument. Wherever there's a blame, there's a claim. That's why I had. Listen, someone might be in the public eye, because I'm picking it up as like TV, but listen, wherever there's a blame, there's a claim. Wherever there's a claim, there's a blame. If someone wants to blame, well, I'll claim it. And I'm claiming it. <laughs> you know? I'm putting a settlement. So, settlement. Sorry. Thank you, Spirit. Settlement. There's a settlement. <laughs> a settlement. There's some kind of settlement that this person's working on as a place of residency or a settlement of the energy of like, bosh, this is fucking me. Here I am, running up the seventh floor, knocking on the eleventh door, bruv. Knocking on that eleventh door. Oi. <laughs> Oi, bruv, is that your new house? Yeah, sweet. Oi, John, you got a new motor? Yeah. Sweet, come in, take a look. Hey, come and look around. <laughs> around, around the world. 
someone's red hot. Someone's like, red hot fucking chili. I'm a, chi I'm a red hot chili pepper. <laughs> red hot chili peppers, right? Some of you might be like a chef working a chef, sous chef or something, sushi restaurant. Um, but let's see. So we're going for this energy here. One more go around and around as the page turns. The energy's changed, is what I'm picking up. So don't worry about that that's Virgo, just the energy story, right? <laughs> so you've got the Queen of Swords, which is, they're really trying to stay optimistic and they're having to cut something out. This energy might be having, so some people might be cross-watching and you still can, might be saying, <clears throat> you need to cut this Virgo energy out first. <clears throat> Before anything happens, you need to get rid of that Virgo. Stop standing at a crossroads. Stop dabbling and cut somebody out. Somebody needs to be cut out. It could be it could be Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone could have that in their chart. So we're going to come out the out of the uh, star signs. Okay. So this energy is definitely contemplating on waiting for sure, and they're seeking seclusion of. Okay. And they're having to now work for this energy. And they're realizing that things in their life now need to go. That could be a mindset. That could be a job, a place, a town. They might realize that they're now got to come to you. That's what I'm saying. Because there might be some kind of travel involved of distance, okay? Distance. That this person realizes that they have to travel to you. So that might be what they're now realizing that they've got to cut that shit out and make a decision. They've got to cut, they've got to. They've got to raise their finances. They're raising the bar. The energy is now realizing that this energy has now raised their expectations of the bar. And this energy now is thinking, fuck, bruv. In order to come to you now, I've got to really work for this connection. And I've got to cut some stuff out. And I've really got to remain optimistic about you now. Because I'm feeling hot as a tic tac for this energy here. Here. Because they realize that they have to cut out something or someone. Because there's somewhere only we know. Heart-shaped box. <laughs> there's, there's somewhere only we know that I need to cut something out at work. If something happens at work and it happens to be with another energy, I've got to cut that shit out. I've got to come to this energy because this is the circumference is what I heard a circumference <laughs> a circumference <clears throat> a conference meeting there's a meeting as a, a conference a conference meeting some of you could be like uh, um, where where you you work in the public eye you have a conference with other people and a meeting but that would generally be a meeting so there might be in a meeting about it where somebody this energy has to cut out a mindset of feeling lonely about this energy lost well feeling lost without you there's the song feeling lost without you they now feel lost without you but they realize that they have to cut the shit out in order for them to start feeling optimistic about you Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over onto Patreon or Vimeo. This will be in the monthly folder again. Or, like I said, Patreon, you get access to these. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with this story. And then we're going to ask more questions as we go through here. Some of those can be found in the description box below. Okay, but we'll see what's separating the energy. And then also what I channel for it. The channeled messages and the reader is the reader. That's It's not the card, it's the reader. <laughs> Someone's got a card reader. Someone's like, beep, card reader, psh, charge it. <laughs> card reader, psh, charge it. You know, charging you. Someone's charging you rent, bruv. They're like raising the rent. <laughs> raise the bar, raise the rent. Raise the motherfucking taxes up in this business, right? So we're going to continue on. I can't see what questions are going to be, but they're going to be like, how they're thinking, how they're feeling. And that all comes out as we start to change lanes. We start to see what's separating, dividing the assets and the counterparts and the reactions. And it relates to this energy, this energy, and it will mirror these cards as we go through. Okay? Generally, that's why I haven't done one of these for a while. But that's the energy that seems to be happening with you and your partner through August. 
okay? And you can find it if you want a personal reading, the links are still there below if you want that, okay? Um, email, but it will be in the monthly Vimeo or in or Patreon, you can have access to that. But I am also going to do at some point, not sure when, but I will do earth signs, fire signs, all that stuff, and I will add each one as we do, like I did a little while ago, uh, and I'll just do them all. But you will find that over on Patreon at some point, and it will just be listed fire signs, and you will be in that, okay? And that will be like your bi-weekly or whatever it is that I kind of decide to do at the time. Okay, guys? All right, guys, peace.